Hi everyone, this is the tutorial on how to overclock 3rd uh, and 2nd gen uh, CPUs uh, which are unlocked. Unfortunately, there's no way to overclock locked CPU on this platform. Maybe you could get around 1-2% uh, using BCLK overclocking, but I don't recommend it. Now, uh, the first thing I like to do is just uh, go in and disable uh, all the Turbo Boost features. Now, every BIOS will have a different way to find uh, all of this but uh, the name of the settings and what they do is pretty much the same. This time around, we are just gonna set the frequency. Now, we are starting with a pretty high overclock of 4.2 GHz. I like to disable Turbo Boost technology, and uh, the same goes for C1E and all the C6, C3 states. Same goes for EST. Now, here you will have to do a little bit of tinkering. Uh, in, on this motherboard, the VTT is pretty much the V-Core, so we are going uh, with 1.2 to start, 1.3 I guess, because I like to um, decrease my voltage instead of uh, going up, because this way you are less likely to encounter a no-boot situation, and so you, do you won't have to pull out the CMOS battery. Now under PLL I like to go to 1.9 usually, but we just hit F10 and see if it works. Now, generally, I use a CPU-Z, other monitor, and Intel Barn test to test my stability. So we are gonna open CPU-Z, other monitor, and Intel Barn test. Now, of course, 4.2 isn't that, that high on this particular CPU. This is an i5-3570K, so it should be fine, to be honest. But now I, I'm gonna run a stress test at standard and uh, take a look at the temps. Now, of course, this CPU has been deleted, but uh, just with thermal paste and not liquid metal, so the results are comparable to a standard CPU, pretty much. It's around 10 degrees better, but nothing insane. And uh, we are on air, and the air cooler kind of sucks, so this should be pretty representative of what you can actually get as a daily overclock. Now, I usually just let the test run on standard, and if it does, I go back and try to up the frequency. If it doesn't, um, I generally want to make this frequency stable before uh, upping it to the next, instead of just going for one higher and then trying to stabilize it. Because this way, if I, like for example, say I'm going for a 4.6 overclock, if I get stuck at 4.5, I, uh, I already have the settings to make it run. Okay, now you can see that uh, the test succeeded, so we are stable. We can go back into the BIOS and up the settings. Okay, we are back into the BIOS. Now, on this particular platform, uh, I'd say that a 4.4 GHz can be always achieved. So we are going for it now. And uh, I'll leave the voltage the same, since it was stable the last time. By the way, generally, you just want to just go back and uh, up the voltage and or the frequency until you are satisfied uh, with the performance. Be sure to keep the temps uh, under 80 degrees under full synthetic load if you want uh, to be sure that the CPU is safe. And uh, generally we, we want to take the, um, to have the CPU V-Core stay under, I'd say 1.4 max. Like if you are on water, you could probably go a little bit higher, like 1.425 but I'd usually recommend a 1.4 as an upper max. But probably your CPU cooler won't be able to handle that. So usually 1.35 is where the sweet spot for most people is. 